Hey guys, it's Jason McLaughlin, the SEO, and today we are going to be reviewing a web design agency. And I'm kind of going to be going over a few strategies on how they can get clients and ways that they can optimize the website in order to get better rankings. Yep, that's it. Web design agency. This is the one in particular today we're going to be reviewing. I'm going to be going over everything from their geogrids to their site audit, as you can see here, 11,000 issues with their website. If that's something that interests you, or you may be perhaps a fellow web design agency owner, stick around. We are about to dive into the nitty gritty of how these guys can improve their local lead generation. Cheers. All right, guys, so for those of you that know me, I run a digital agency, kind of two at the moment. We're busy closing down the one so I can focus all my time and attention into the one. And I have a very specific way and belief on how digital agencies, web development agencies, websites should be set up. I feel like they should be very personalized and specialized in order to start generating some proper traction in business going forward. And I get a lot of flack for this, but let's be real, right? I, I get a lot of my clients um, from web design agencies that have failed in the realm of SEO or lead generation, and they tend to come to guys like myself who are in SEO. So let's get into it. Who are we going to be reviewing today, right? Well, this is the website, valorouswebdesign.com. So I went ahead, I Googled them. This is what popped up. <clears throat> they are based in the Northbrook Office Park, located at 2922 Fuller Avenue, Grand Rapids in the United States. Um, so yeah, straight off the bat, what I like about this, they have a lot of reviews. I really like that. I do hope they're replying to them. Um, no, not replying. I mean, well... They just haven't replied to this one, it seems, from a week ago. That's something that they would need to do. Um, yeah, they seem to have a reasonably solid strategy on generating these reviews. They do seem to be, the majority of them seem to be real. Um, they haven't replied to this negative one. Now, remember, it's always a good thing to reply to negative reviews. I will say that a lot of these reviews were given by people that have only ever given one review. Okay, that guy's given 57. But if we go up here, there's four, there's two. So let's just give them benefit of the doubt these are real reviews. So they have a good review generation strategy there. If we were to actually go into their images, they are posting. Um, I'm not sure if this is the owner. Looks like a cool dude. Uh, seems to be oh video that's quite cool um seems to be yeah general stuff just roaming around inside the gmb seeing what's cracking oh they've got a nice image of their office there looks like a great um thing what my favorite thing about this google my business is that they have a calendly link as well that obviously allows people to go ahead and book immediately in with them and yeah i'd actually be very interested to see how many calls they're currently generating off of that overall i like the gmb um let's quickly dive into the ra rankings of it which i actually didn't like that much um yeah so from a one kilometer radius 13 by 13 uh it's not too great to be very honest i'm assuming they're just trying to serve their local area so let's dive in and see who their competitors are wow these guys are ranking number one curly host and then they are number three it's very weird that this one would be ranking not optimized that much at all oh wow and they've got a full this hop wire web design that's actually very interesting I'd actually like to dive into that, but I'll, I don't have time for that right now and see exactly how they are. But I mean, overall, this could be improved a lot. I would highly recommend jumping on um, one of my GMB booster packs. 
that would definitely move the needle for your your company your business um get your ranking more around here but as i said i don't know if you're going for the local markets i would assume you are with the way it's going okay so let's get in to the website let's go look at your website valorous web design okay so immediately i would say from a lead generation point of view i like your sticky header up here um that always makes me happy but i would like these buttons a lot bigger where does this take us book a free strategy call probably takes you to a calendly link no okay so straight off yeah i would recommend possibly having this go straight to your calendly link you've got that and offering some incentive um and then getting them to get on a call with you and talk and offering some sort of free value to them so this is a what i call very faceless agency i don't know who really runs it it's very i mean web design book a strategy call does this also not take you to a calendly link i would honestly try get bookings and try get people coming in maybe that's something you've tried and haven't had success with it but i don't see many pictures of the team i don't know who's running the show here i'm very yeah in the dark i i know this picture it's a very common picture i would go ahead and yeah make it more personalized people these days want to know who the hell they're working with right if you go look at my agency website rankghost.com you can see who I am, you can see who I'm about, you can see who I specialize in, you can see the things I've done. It is me, Jason McLaughlin. This is the agency I run. People like that it builds rapport, right? It's one of the things, in my experience, people like. I know other people might have different um, opinions and things on that, but yeah. So let's kind of look at what you guys are offering here as services so we have web design website support digital marketing faq so to be honest with you i would move this faqs to the top here next to the contact us or something like that because services faqs it's just bad badly structured right so one of the ways you could do it is honestly go and look who you com your top dogs are here uh it's probably this hop wire design and literally just go copy their web structure or copy the guy's web structure you are looking at going after right and then honestly taking it from there um yeah that would be my advice from this this faqs would definitely need to be moved up let's look at your web design page so what i'm looking for here is some form of proof of work social proof something like that okay i see you got here's very basic social proof right it accredited by and then that's blurry don't know what that's really about um yeah straight off the bat right these web designed web design very unclear i would like if you are going for a location i'd have web design plus location over here get these pages ranking um, at the moment, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't think that this is pulling in much at all. I do see that you're pushing them to book a call. And here's a view our portfolio uh, button. <clears throat> okay, so here's portfolio. All right. Let's see what work you guys have done. I would honestly try recommend getting a video client testimonials you putting out contents helping the general community but yeah that would be me what do we have going on in the blog here <clears throat> okay we've got some blog activity all right guys i'm going to give you the keys to the success here in my opinion so for this website i would like to have a landing page that offers some sort of value straight off the bat to your customer that lands so for me at the moment now it's a book on lead generation seo or i'm busy developing some other ebooks that i give away for totally free in exchange for email address or pushes them to a facebook group right remember people are going to be entering your funnel as a digital agency this is where the sales are going to be made very few sales are going to be made by landing straight on the site especially a generic site like this and they 
aren't really moving yeah they're not going to be signing up straight off the bat like that uh this is a very common um creative commons picture or whatever you guys called it yeah not such a big thing let's kind of see what your social presence is like okay not bad 404 views you are posting a lot warning new phishing scam uh again where's the value here where's the value for people uh but yeah guys let's kind of dive into what is all wrong so we i ran a scan on them very advanced scan we have 11,413 issues with the site. Um, I can send this through to you. I'm not going to go through all of this now. Um, but probably the biggest thing, I don't know where all these broken images are coming from. Uh, MTL text, things that you'll be ranking from. 80 long titles, right? And empty matter descriptions. <clears throat> from an SEO point of view, you're definitely shooting yourself in the foot here. Not to mention all these errors. I mean, this this <laughs> this report we ran i don't know if you guys can see there 256 pages of just stuff that's wrong so yeah i'll send this through to you as i said um there's definitely room for improvement here if we go and look at your rankings on your geogrid they are not great they are really not great for the vicinity in the area. I mean, to be honest with you, well, I, I, I don't exactly know who you're targeting, but I'd imagine you'd want to be targeting majority of this area here, Grand Rapids. Um, and you guys are really nowhere to be found. I can immediately tell you the main top guys is Blue Bridge. Also, let's see what they're busy doing. Okay, yeah, even Blue Bridge, not that great. No, this is Valorous, sorry. Blue Bridge, uh, what are you doing? <clears throat> okay, so what I recommend is try find the top dog here, reverse engineering, engineer what they are doing, right? Seems like guys that are covering, there seems to be quite a few of these web design agencies. I can tell you immediately, right, if you separate yourself by offering some form of value to your customers, whether it be ebook, um, free audits, free optimization of GMB, some form of value, it'll get your foot in the door and land you guys more clients. Guys, I'm Jace McLaughlin. If you have any more questions or you want to know more about how to generate more leads with regards to SEO, advertising, paid advertising, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, hit me up. Um, yeah. I'll send the report through to you on the email and I'll probably be hearing back from you, hopefully. And then, yeah, we can work together, get these issues sorted out and hopefully get you ranking. Another thing before I bounce off here, content on your website is exceptionally, exceptionally thin. I mean, we look at, we would want to have 1,200 words per page. And I mean, this is just very basic stuff. And I know people don't really read that much anymore. Go the video route, but from an SEO point of view, it's not going to be ranking, man. Cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.